Master X Media presents a tribute to men that hate their jobs. Series 2. Episode 13 Renegade 2.0. So today was another long shift, another long, hard one with constant, constant driver deliveries, which wasn't too bad in my opinion because the server didn't let us down again and uh, the boys were uh, behaving themselves for a change, which made life a lot easier. But as the evening wore on, there's a few moments of stressfulness when um, you, had the you had the wrong person dishing out the orders and uh, that happened to be our beloved renegade manager, that dopey bitch. Oh dear. It appeared that not only was she terrible at her job of being a manager, and she was terrible with her people skills, but I guess she can't read as well, because it's not difficult to read a piece of paper that's taped to the delivery saying how many bags and the delivery number. But she managed to get the wrong delivery. Gave the wrong delivery to the wrong driver, and bear in mind, most of these drivers, they're not British. English is their second or even third language. And most of them can speak, but they can't really read, which is different, it's a big difference. So she handed the wrong driver the wrong delivery because she had both, because she had both deliveries in both hands and she just crossed them over and completely balls it up. About 30 minutes later, he had one of the drivers who had obviously had an earful from the uh, from the customer and he decided it would be a great idea to tell the manager the illustrious manager the manager who can do no wrong no she can do everything wrong she was terrible she decided to get up in his face and say that he got it wrong because he took the wrong package and he tried to explain to her look you gave me the package and I took it. I showed you my number, you, took, you read my number and you gave me the package and that's it, yeah? So I get there and it's wrong and I got an earful and I just wanted you to know. And she seemed completely offended by this. I mean, totally goddamn offended. And she started to scream and shout at the driver, calling him stupid where I had to intervene, I felt I had to, because it's not fair that she takes her, that she took her mistake out on this guy. So I went over to calm the situation down because they were both shouting and screaming at each other. And I said, look guys, calm down. It's done, isn't it? And then she decided to turn her attention to me. What's it to do with you? Well, it's everything to do with me, I said to her. Look, you've got all these customers looking at you because you are bollocking this guy on the shop floor for a start, which is completely illegal because this is another thing that you got pulled up with me, yeah? You can't take it to one side or you can't just have a uh, talk quietly and civilly. You are shouting at him and he's shouting at you back and it looks goddamn embarrassing. Who are you to tell me that it's embarrassing? I'm like, don't you dare start on me, love. You do not start on me and you do not start on this guy. Now I suggest you calm down because remember, I've got that direct line. Now I'd rather not use it. I'd rather you both shake hands and leave it and chalk it up to experience. And if you start on me, I'm gonna pull my phone out of my pocket, which I'm not supposed to have on me right now. I will go and phone that number straight away in front of you, in front of everyone here, to tell them what a nasty piece of shit you are. Now, you're supposed to be acting like a professional. And look at you, look at you. You can't even take the fact that you made a mistake. Yeah, we're all human, everyone makes mistakes. But yet, you cannot accept it. Everyone makes mistakes. Every manager makes a mistake, but you learn from it. As long as you don't repeat the mistake, then you've learned something, have you not? She looked at me, she was red. She was red in the face, she didn't know what to say. I'm like, just say sorry and calm down. She muttered something under her breath which was barely, barely audible. Excuse me, I said. I heard that. I didn't, it was a lie. But she yet muttered sorry 
and skulked her way back to the uh, kitchen. She didn't apologise to anyone else. Between the driver and myself, we couldn't work out who she was saying sorry to, but we accepted it anyways. I mean, what is the need for any of this? At the end of the day, we work for a fast food restaurant where even the managers are paid terribly. And yet, she can't accept the fact that she was wrong. Now this, it has to go on record in my opinion. But hey, I'd rather not. I cannot be bothered with the hassle. So I said to the driver, come over here, mate. Come over here. Take a sit down. You know, there's space for you in here. Take a sit down, calm down. And uh, if you want to take it further, you can take it further, yeah? Just write a report about it and uh, hand it to me if she's in or hand it directly to, uh, to the boss who's in tomorrow and tell the boss about it. Or you can leave it, it's up to you, as long as, as, long as you're okay about it. Because things need to be done. This renegade needs to be taught a lesson and this renegade needs to seriously work out if this job is for her. And at this rate, it definitely isn't. And at this rate, she'll be fired within a few months if she carries on doing shit like this. I went back to my door, changed my gloves because they were now sweaty and I got patted on the back by the next driver who was on his way out. Some people just need to learn their place and if their place is a manager they should act like a manager.